Hi, I'm going to run through one way of solving this begriddled battleships puzzle. You first need to know how a regular begriddled puzzle works. If you don't, there's a video at www.begriddle.com slash regular hyphen how to that shows that, which I suggest you watch before continuing with this one. Begriddled battleships has six possible shapes. Just as we had when I was a kid, I've got a single square for a submarine. And I know most versions don't have that, but that's the way we did it. Then a rectangle, two squares long, is a destroyer. Three squares for a cruiser and a rectangle, four squares long for a battleship. We used to have a rectangle five squares long for an aircraft carrier, but aircraft carriers aren't long and narrow really, so this shape here looks more like the real thing. And in addition to the traditional ships, there can be oil rigs with an X marking their position. So what you have to do is find any ships and oil rigs in the puzzle, knowing only that these are the only shapes there can be, and that there can be any number of each of them, including none at all. Also, unlike the pencil and paper game, they can touch, but they can't overlap. So how can we solve this? Right, one place to start is at the corners. That's because every line has to be part of one of the six shapes. And so if a corner number is at the end of a diagonal, then that can only be one of the diagonals of an oil rig. And if it joins horizontally, then it must also join vertically and vice versa. So if the zero joins to the four at the bottom left corner, then it must also join to the one. And it also means that the zero in the middle at the top also joins to the one and the four to make this angle. But if you look at the shapes that are allowed here, it's impossible for this angle to be part of any of the allowed shapes. Or two of them, if we had touching shapes. So that means that the zero can't join to the one and four. And it also means it can't join to the one or four. So I'll cross those possibilities out on the worksheet here. I like to use a full row for each number, even though that means putting in twice as many crosses as you really need. Right, up in the top left, in the same way, if the five joins to the two, then it must also join to the three and vice versa. And if the 5 joins to the 2 up there, of course, this 2 must join to the 5 here. And we know that if the 5 joins to the 2, then it must also join to the 3. And each number joins to exactly one other number. So that means that apart from the 2 that it already joins to, this 5 can only join to a 3 or another 2. But there isn't one there for it to join to. So that means the only shape this line can be a part of is an oil rig with the one joining to the four to make the cross. But if one joins to four, then down here, we've got another diagonal that can only be part of an oil rig as well with the zero joining to the two. But now this two at the top can't join to anything except the five in the corner because we've already discovered that if 2 joins to 5, the other number it joins to must be 0, and there's not one there for it to join to. So I'll guess that 5 joins to 2 can't be right, and that means it can't join to 3 either. If we look down here and this 5 joining to the 1, if that 5 joins to the 1, We've already ruled out the one joining to the zero. The one could join to the four, but if it did, there isn't a shape that would actually fit that. And if the one joins to the six, there's no way of placing the allowed shapes for that to work either. So the only possibility is for the one to join to the two. So if the one does join to the five, it also joins, the one and the five also join in the top left hand corner here. 
and the only possible shape there would be the oil rig so the two would have to join to the three and down here we've got a two and a three that we would join together and what we just worked out is that if the five joins to the one the two must join to the one and to the three if we look at this two here apart from the three it's already joined to there's nothing else it can join to there's no three or one so that line can't be part of a shape that's allowed and so the starting point of one joining to five we can rule that out because we've reached a, a logical inconsistency and then looking back up at the top left here if the one doesn't join to the five the two can't join to the three because that two joining to the three there's no shape that will fit there so what about the one joining to the two down here well we already know the one can't join to the zero and we've already worked out that the one can't join to the five that only leaves that one joining to the four or the six but neither of those possibilities work with the shapes we've got so they're not possible so that then leaves this one just isolated at the end of this line and uh, we can't make a shape with it that's allowed and so the one can't join to the two what about the one joining to the six we've already ruled out that one joining to the zero and to the five and to the two which just leaves the four but there's no shape that works with that so that doesn't work um, or the two could join to the five but we've ruled that out as well so there's no, nothing we can do if the one joins to the six well it can't because it can't be part of any of the shapes that we're looking for so what about the zero going to the two which we haven't actually ruled out yet well if the zero goes to the two then the one must join to the four then if the one goes to the four then we could make these joins up here the one to the four four to the one and that four to the one there so up here with this angle for that to be part of any of the shapes then the one would have to join to the seven could be an aircraft carrier which is this shape but it can't be that because those two ones cannot join together so the one would have to join to the seven so what that would mean would be that the one joins to the four and the seven if we look down here there's nowhere that this one will join to so that doesn't work so if we go right back to our initial assumption about the zero joining to the two and the one joining to the four because either both of those have to work or neither of them work that can't be because well we've just been through it so now if this one up here goes to the seven that one must go to the two or the four but we've already ruled both of those out so one can't go to the seven so now we've got that the one must join to two of the three eight and nine and the possibilities are three one eight three one nine and eight one nine if we take that eight one nine with the one joining to the eight and the nine we've got this angle here and because that one can't join to anything else we'd have to have a shape with an angle like that and we haven't got one so that doesn't work which leaves either 318 or 319 and in both of those cases the 3 joins to the 1 so we know that the 3 and the 1 join together so let's join those in so we know that the 1 must join to the 8 or the 9 from what we just worked out and so this one over here has to go to an 8 or a 9 well there's only an 8 there so it has to be the 8 and it looks like the 3 joins to the 0 but let's just go through and eliminate the others if 3 joins to the 4 
that would be left hanging there, be no shape that that would work for, so it can't be the four. Same with the six up there, the seven, same again. The eight, that three down at the bottom, there's no eight there, so that would just be left hanging. And the nine, there's no nine there, so it can't join to any of those other ones, so the three must join to the zero. Really, that had to be the case right from the start there on that. So we can join these other things in here as well. Right, the zero can't join to the eight because we got that sequence zero, three, one, eight. So the three and the one lie between the zero and the eight. And we've already ruled out the zero going to the one and to the two. So the only two possibilities left that work with the shapes we've got to find are if the zero goes to the six or the four, but we've already ruled out the four, so it has to go to the six. Right, so now down here, the only thing that will work with this 606 is an aircraft carrier with that 6 joining to the 2 and the 2 to the 4. So looking at the 4, all we've got left now is the 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9. And this 4 at the bottom can't be 5, otherwise that would just be left as a as an end that doesn't work. Same with the 6. If it was 7, that would leave the 4 at the top hanging, not joining to anything. 4 can't join to 8 in the same way that it couldn't join to the 5 or the 6, which only leaves the 9. We missed that 0 to 6 up here. Um, we already got the two numbers the 6 joins to. So all that can be is an oil rig, so the 5 must join to the 8. Now there's only two possibilities for the 7. The 7 has to join to the 5 and the 9 then. So there we go, we've got everything now and can fill in the sequence. So there's the sequence and we can fill in everything left on the puzzle now. So we've got an oil rig, a submarine, a destroyer, a cruiser, a battleship and an aircraft carrier. And that's it. We've got one of each there. So in this example there happens to be one each of every possible shape. But that doesn't have to be the case. There might be just a single ship or oil rig on the whole puzzle or there could be a number of the same one or you could have five submarines or something you have to find what's there until you go looking and work it out you just don't know so as always if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you're watching this video on youtube and if you want to see other videos i'll be doing in the future then do subscribe and press the bell button so you get a notification you can find the books on Amazon, for example. Just search for Big Riddle there. And the website is bigriddle.com. Thank you for watching.